I am myself Dr. Pradeep Jain, Professor in Mechanical Department at Jakumar Kral Engineering College. I'm going to present a lecture on rapid prototyping. A rapid prototyping technique or methods that allow designers to produce physical prototypes quickly. It consists of various manufacturing processes by which a solid physical part is made directly from 3D that model without any special tooling. The first commercial rapid prototyping process was bought on the market in around 1987. Nowadays, more than 30 different processes, not all commercialized till now, with high accuracy and a large choice of material exist. These processes are classified in different ways by material used, by energy, by lighting or photopolymers, or by typical application range. There are different types of rapid prototype technique available. In the rapid prototype process, the 3D CAD data is slice into thin cross-sectional plans by computer. The cross-sections are sent from the computer to the rapid prototyping machine, which will the part layer by layer. The first layer geometry is defined by the shape of the first cross-sectional plan generated by the computer. Then it is bonded to a starting base and additional layer are bonded on the top of the first shape according to the their respective cross section plans. This process is repeated until the final prototype is completed. As shown in the figure, you may see here, this is a rapid prototyping technique process flow. First we need a 3D solid model, then this solid model converted into a specific format known as the STL format, it is called the data preparation. After converting into STL format, the slicing operation is there. The STL format file is sliced in different layers. Then G code is generated for final manufacturing of building of the part into the additive manufacturing or rapid prototyping machine. Then part is built. If the build part is okay or it fulfills the design parameters, then it will pass otherwise the prototype is rejected and redesign operation is there. Again, there is changing in design. Again, the process is repeated till the part is not manufacturing up to the design parameters. This is the process flow for RP system. Why? What is this prototyping basically? A prototype is a product will to test ideas and changes until it resembles the final product. Prototyping allows early iteration of the product during design thinking, thereby validating its core functionality. By this uh, prototyping required, basically, we can do the different functional using this prototyping. We can check the concept sketch prototype for the bench model prototyping, fully functional rapid prototype, visual model prototype pre-production alpha prototype, manufactured production prototype. These are different types of prototype required for the prototyping purpose. By this, rapid, by this prototyping is essential, why is prototyping required? Uh, there are various reasons for this prototyping. The first is the for visualization purpose and for design changes, any iterations required, free from prototyping, complex object fabrication, visualization, even for testing and fitting, packaging, cost time and resource estimation, process planning, and if you want to send the product in the market as early as possible for the critical for tool industry, the first two market, so we need a rapid prototyping. Then the rapid production, fast production without any special machine tooling for the concurrent activity, for JIT concept, zero inventory and for rapid tooling and no tooling trend in technology. Apart from that, we need to verify the design. So, this prototype is required for design verification. We need design for manufacturability. We need design for assembly, design for maintainability, design for reliability, design for quality, design parameters, tolerances and allowances. Concrete engineering purpose, tooling, reverse engineering, dry fabrication, tool path generation, and limited production. We can classify this prototyping technology 
and three major discipline like subtractive process is the conventional uh, material removal technology the conventional traditional machines like lathe machine tending machine milling machine can be used to remove the material to produce the final prototype in this subtractive process the degree of automation is very it may be a fully automated cnc machine it may be a manual machine it depend on the type of machine we are going to use to build this prototype the second is the additive or material build up approach for example the steel lithography apparatus in this the degree of sophistication is very on the basis of degree of sophistication different types of technology is available and third is the formative structure the forging casting this is a completely manual operation when used for prototyping on the basis of sophistication of prototyping technology we can divide this technology in different terms such as desktop manufacturing rapid uh, prototyping tool less manufacturing 3d printing free form manufacturing layer manufacturing these are the different names for this prototyping technology on the basis of this uh, sophistication we can differentiate this technology as fabrication process the process must take a material in some shapeless form and turn or solid object with definite shape on the basis of degree of automation high degree of automation this prototyping is a stage in a cycle it is expected that a technology will enable automated chaining to the before and after links in the cycle ability to build complex objects the more complex the build object the more sophistication in the technology required tooling and no tooling less tool is better one shot operation no assembly of parts is required the less time the better it is the closeness to serve the purpose of the prototype accurate representation of the design it must be flexible modification addition of parameter scaling equipment size weight maintenance economical both equipment and operating cost clean shape operation user friendly this is the requirement of this prototyping technology on the basis of the sophistication the four prominent processes of rapid prototyping this is conventionally generally used is sls selective laser sintering technology sla steel lithography technology low laminated object manufacturing technology and fbm fused deposition model the selective laser sintering basically selective laser sintering as uh, shown in the figure a co2 laser is used to scan or to solidify the powder imparted on the platform so in this technology there is a laser high intensity laser which is used to sinter the metallic powder a powder may be a metallic powder may be a polymer that metallic or polymer powder is sintered using the high intensity laser beam and in this case the powder is also work as a support material for the main part the layer by layer scanning of the material on the platform is required when first, first layer is scanned and completed the powder is solidified or sintered then the second layer of powder is imparted on the platform to complete the second layer the laser beam is solidified or just because uh, this uh, basically this technology is work on the powder bed fusion so there is a sintering or fuse of the metal particles or polymer particles to each other to form a solid part so once the layer is solidified using this pba powder bed fusion technology the layer by layer fusion of these metal particles or polymer particles creates a complete part as required by the design this technology basically the selective laser sintering technology basically used for the different application range like uh, for visual representation of models functional and tough prototypes and cast metal part because this technology you can be used the powder uh, of polymers as well as powders of different metals so that's why the prototype manufactured by this technology is very tough and can be used as a functional part as well functional prototype as well 
there are a lot of advantage of this technology flexibility of material is used in this technology the different types of material can be used like pvc nylon sand for building sand casting cores material investment casting bags no need to create a structure to support the part because the powder itself work as a support material part do not require any post curing except when ceramic is used but there are some disadvantage or drawback of this technology as well the during solidification additional powder may be hardened at the border line the roughness is most visible when parts contain sloping or step surface the parts created by this sls technology the different types of prototype as shown in this figure the parts created by this sls technology can be used not only uh, for the prototyping purpose it can be used for the final functional parts as well so this technology is very useful for rapid prototyping as well as functional part production the next popular technology now is the steel lithography sla in sla a laser beam ultraviolet beam is used to cure the photosensitive resin there is a liquid photopolymer tank where the photopolymer resin is powered and there is a platform elevator platform the part is manufactured by scanning ultraviolet beam using the mirror system the technique is similar the first layer is scan using the ultraviolet beam when the first layer is solidified then platform is down by one layer thickness and the another layer is solidified then as shown in the figure in green color a layer by layer a complete part is manufactured using this sla technology the various applications of this sla like parts used for functional test manufacturing of medical models this is generally used for the medical models for fit functions for assembly test as well The advantage of this technology is possibility of manufacturing parts which are impossible to be produced conventionally in a single process. This technology is very useful because there are some complex part geometries which cannot be produced by the conventional or traditional manufacturing processes. The SLA will help. SLA will create such parts without any special tooling, and by SLA that can be atomized and no supervision is required. This is the completely fully automated process. There is no supervision is required. High resolution part can be manufactured and there is no geometric limitation. Any type of complex geometry can be created using this SLA technology. But there are some disadvantage and drawback of this technology. Necessity to have a support structure. Require labor for post processing and cleaning as well. this part is created by this sla technology this is a laminated object manufacturing long process is there this is somewhat different from the other additive processes because there is a cutting operation a sheet material generally or paper of mylar is used for manufacture the prototypes so there is a laser cutting operation the paper sheet cross section is cut by the laser and the laser is scanned by mirror or moving optics head hmm. technique when the first layer cross section is cut and there is a heated roller that after applying the glue and this heated roller is used to bond it the two sheets or two layers so when the first layer is cut and there are some grease cut at the surrounding boundary for easily removal of the solid part so by just cutting the cross section of each layer and the layer by layer this platform is come down by one layer thickness after completing all the layers the fully functional part can be manufactured using this alloy or laminated object manufacturing technology the application of this generally used for loam is the visual representation model large bulky models as sand casting pattern can be manufactured the advantage of this technology is variety of organic and inorganic materials can be used like paper plastic ceramic and composites process is faster than other processes 
no internal stress and undesirable deformations. Loam can be deal with discontinuity where objects are not closed completely. There are some disadvantages of this technology. The stability of the object is bonded by the strength of the glue layer. Parts with the thin bars in the jet direction cannot be made using this loam. Hollow parts cannot be built using this loam. That is why this technology is generally used for the part of lower strength and only for visual purpose as well. This is the part created by this uh, loam prototype, this laminated object manufacturing technology. The one is the most prominent or most popular uh, technology known as the fused opposition modeling, FDM basically. This FDM technology work on the principle of extrusion. The extrusion of uh, polymer material using a feeding mechanism and a nozzle. Generally, this technology is popular because this is very simple to operate and the additive manufacturing or rapid prototyping machine using this technology is very cheap and can be create or can be develop any type of prototype with less time. The working of this FDM is basically we need to feed the filament or filament generally available in the market of different diameters like uh, 1.75 mm diameter or 3 mm diameter depending on the rapid prototyping machine and various types of material is also available for this purpose like PLA, ABS, nylon, carbon fibers, even some flexible materials like uh, TPU can be used in this few deposition modeling extrusion head. The mechanism of this uh, FDM is like that of a filament is fed through a uh, gear and pulley arrangement by utilizing a motor. This filament is fed to the extruder and passing through the nozzle provided at the bottom. Generally, the nozzle diameter for this FDM varies from 0.1 millimeter to 1, you can say 1 millimeter generally depending on the sophistication or depending on the accuracy of final part or depending on the material, uh, this diameter of nozzle can be used. Generally for PLA materials, the 0.4 or 0.3 mm by diameter of this nozzle is used. There is a uh, heating cartridge or heater is available at that nozzle block to heat the filament. Generally for PLA material, the heating temperature varies from 180 degree centigrade to 220 degree centigrade. Depending on the material, the temperature is also vary. For ABS, this temperature ranges around 220 degree centigrade to 250 degree centigrade. So, for different material, this temperature ranges also vary. So, once this material is heated till desired temperature or melting point of this uh, uh, material, filament material, if this melt, the melted material is passing through the nozzle and deposited on the build platform. A build platform generally a heated bed. The temperature of this heated bed generally kept uh, between 50 to 60 degrees centigrade to avoid the deformation to proper sticking the layer on the bed this uh, heated bed temperature is required. So, when the first layer is deposited by the x y movement of this uh, printed extrusion head, the first layer is deposited on the build platform. The first layer depo deposited, then this build platform came down by one layer thickness. Depending on the part accuracy, this layer thickness is very, it may be 0.1 mm, it may be 0.2 mm, it may be 0.3 mm depending on the part accuracy or the vertical strength of the part is depend on this layer thickness. If the layer thickness is less, the vertical strength is very high, but uh, time to manufacture the part is also very high. So, we have to uh, put this layer thickness in optimized way to considering the strength and the time required for the manufacturing of this 
part. So once the first layer is uh, manufactured, first layer is part this uh, platform is come down by layer thickness. Then the second layer is deposited over the first layer. Then the third layer, fourth layer is deposited on the one of layer upon one upon the another layer till the complete layer is not deposited. When the complete layers are deposited, the final part can be obtained. There are generally a support material also used for uh, overhanging parts or some parts require the support structure as well. So, for support material in FBM technology, we need to supply the support material using the different nozzle head. So, there are two heads basically one is for the build material, one is for the support material. In this technology, we can manufacture our prototypes for not only for physical appearance, but for the proper testing or proper strength measurement. This is a FDM type machine basically used in industry to produce the final parts. The applicable range of this uh, used for this conceptual modeling, fit form application the models for further manufacturing processes, investment casting and injection molding. Advantage is quick and cheap generation of models. The models created by this technology is not so much costly and the time required to produce the uh, part is also less. There is no worry of exposure to toxic chemicals as compared to SLA. There is no toxic chemicals, no lasers uh, is required as in, SL, in case of SLS or SLA or no liquid chemicals as in case of SLA. There are some disadvantages like restricted accuracy due to the shape of material use. Bar is 1.75 mm diameter generally used. So, there are some restriction or accuracy is not so great as compared to the SLA. These are the few parts or few prototypes generated by this FDM technology. Thank you very much.